Imagine this. You walk into the office on Monday and someone's prepared for you a list with all the keywords you should add to your account, all the bids you should assign to those keywords, and the budget you should allocate for each of your campaigns. Wouldn't that be great? Well, while we can't hire someone to do this for you, we've come up with the next best thing, the Opportunities tab. I'm Joanna Google, and I'm going to talk to you about the Opportunities tab, your new source for customised optimization ideas. In this course, we'll talk about the search landscape and why we created the Opportunities tab. We'll explain the benefits of its three main features, keyword, bid and budget ideas. We'll show you how to use the Opportunities tab to analyse your competition. And we'll share some interesting case studies from businesses that have used the Opportunities tab. So why did we create the Opportunities tab? A single item that's for sale on your website might be of interest to users who are searching for a wide variety of search terms. In fact, users are using more search term variations than ever before to find the products and services you offer. Let's take a product that's seemingly simple to describe, a jumper. How many different search terms do you think are used for this? In 2006, people on Google used 47 different terms to look for jumper. In 2008, this had increased to 73 terms and the number is rising. What this says is that the search landscape is changing. 20% of the searches done on Google each day are ones we haven't seen in the last three months, and in some cases, we've never seen them before. 80% of search queries do not match any AdWords advertisers' keywords exactly, and nearly 4 in 10 search queries are over 3 words long. So let's take a look at the three main features of the Opportunities tab and how they can guide you in this changing search landscape. There are three important optimization levers. We just talked about keywords and how it's hard to stay on top of your keywords because of the new ways users are searching. We've also got bids. How should you bid competitively while keeping your business goals in sight? And there are budgets. How can you set your budget to capture traffic while keeping an eye on spend? The Opportunities tab is designed to help you optimise these three aspects of your account. The Opportunities tab, located in every advertiser's account, can give you any combination of keyword, bid and budget ideas for optimising your account. Depending on how your account is going, you may only see one type of idea, you may see none, or you may see all three. Before we delve into the details of the tab, let's talk about some benefits. 1. The Opportunities tab helps you understand the big picture of what's going on in your account. Other AdWords tools may focus on a certain campaign or ad group at a time. The Opportunities tab helps you get a bird's eye view and provides you with keyword, bid and budget optimization ideas across your entire account. 2. In the past, you had to use separate tools to optimise different parts of your account. Now you can go directly to the Opportunities tab and see a variety of optimization ideas all in one place. 3. Another main benefit of the Opportunities tab is that it provides you with data to examine your optimizations. Instead of assuming that one part of your account needs more attention than the other, use the Opportunities tab to look at the estimated impact of each optimization to decide which one to implement first. 4. Lastly, the Opportunities tab is easy to use because it does the work for you. Instead of coming up with optimization ideas on your own, optimization ideas appear in your Opportunities tab automatically when available. The Opportunities tab is easy to use and saves you time. Now let's look at the individual parts of the tab. Let's start with keyword ideas. This is the most common type of idea you'll find in your account. 
The keyword ideas on your Opportunities tab can help extend your advertising reach by targeting additional customers. You might gain additional impressions and clicks when you add relevant keywords to an ad group. Keyword ideas are generated by our automated tools and use the same keyword idea engines currently used in tools like the Keyword Tool. Our system takes Google search data and compares it to themes in your existing keyword lists. By analysing Google search data related to your campaigns, we can often find new keywords that are relevant to your ads and that you don't currently have in your account. Let's look at an example account. This is the Google Store account that advertises products like Google t-shirts, water bottles and lava lamps. We can see here that there are a number of keyword ideas for this account. Let's say we want to take a look at a particular ad group like lava lamps. We can get a quick glance at keywords by hovering over the icon in the preview column here. When you hover over the preview column, a yellow box pops up. You'll then see several keyword ideas with estimated monthly search volumes and competition information. To see the full list of keyword ideas for the ad group, you can click on View or Edit Keyword Ideas. This will take you to the Keyword Explorer view. From here, you'll be able to add keywords directly to your account, export them to .csv or save them to Pending Changes, where you'll be able to review them later. If you want to add a keyword to a different ad group than the one suggested, simply click on the Ad Group in the Ad Group column. When you do this, you'll be able to choose another campaign and ad group where you'd like to add the keyword. That's about it for keyword ideas, so now let's move on to budget ideas. Your Opportunities tab shows budget ideas when a campaign is repeatedly meeting its daily budget. Such campaigns are limited by budget and therefore might be missing out on potential traffic and clicks. To look at budget ideas, we'll take another glance at the Google Store account. It looks like AdWords is telling me to change the budget of my California campaign to $54.50. Again, I can click hover over the preview column or click on a budget idea itself. When I click on my budget idea, I see the following screen, which we call the Budget Explorer view. Here, the first thing you'll notice is a graph that compares your past two weeks' performance in blue with your potential performance at the proposed budget level in green. From here, you can do a number of things. If you're happy with a proposed budget, you can apply it to your account straight away. If you want to change the proposed budget, you can do this in one of two ways. You can move the slider on the right up or down, or you can simply enter your preferred budget in the box where you see the proposed budget. For each prospective budget that you enter, the graph will update, giving you an insight into the potential impact of the change. So now we've seen how keyword and budget ideas work. Let's see the last idea type in the Opportunities tab, Bid Ideas. Keyword bid ideas are based on bid simulator data. You'll see bid ideas in your account if we determine that you can receive additional clicks without a large increase in cost. You can save money without sacrificing a lot of clicks. To get started with bid ideas, choose whether you want to increase traffic or reduce costs. You can find these options at the top right of your bid ideas. Depending on which you choose, you'll see estimates of how bid changes might affect your costs, impressions and clicks. You'll see that I've chosen to decrease costs. When I decrease costs, I get 12 fewer clicks than before, but I'm saving around $36. That's worth it for me. Now that you've seen the main features of the Opportunities tab, let's move on to some best practices. The first thing to realise when you're using the Opportunities tab is that good input equals good output. What this means is that if the keywords in your ad groups are tightly knit around a theme, good input, 
then you'll probably receive better keyword ideas from the tab, Good Output. If your keywords are general and stretch across many themes, then your output probably will not be as good. If you're not seeing good to great keyword ideas, then you might want to revisit your ad group's keywords in order to improve the ideas you see in the Opportunities tab. Speaking of keywords, you can also use the Opportunities tab for negative keyword ideas. If you're consistently seeing a keyword you don't think is relevant for your account, it may be that users are coming to your site by searching on this keyword. You can take the keyword you find irrelevant and make sure it's a negative keyword in your ad group. Next, if you don't have a lot of time to optimise your account, focus on those ideas that will bring you the biggest bang for your buck. For keywords, you can focus on ideas that have the highest estimated monthly searches. For bids and budgets, you can focus on ideas that have greater impacts on impressions, clicks and costs. Our fourth optimization best practice is to review ideas before accepting them. You are an important part of the account optimization process. You should look at ideas closely and decide if they're relevant for your account before adding them. Don't accept ideas without reviewing them. Lastly, once you review ideas, they'll disappear from your account. If you go to the Opportunities tab and there are no ideas for you, check back periodically to see if new ideas have appeared. We've spoken about keyword, bid and budget ideas. Now it's time to learn about a feature in the Opportunities tab called Analyze Competition. This feature places your keywords into categories based on Google search terms and allows you to compare your performance to the average performance of other advertisers against four different metrics – impressions, clicks, CTR and average position. Let's take a look at this in detail to see what it means. You can find Analyze Competition under Ideas on the left of the Opportunities tab screen you'll see that all online campaigns are selected and that the metric we're looking at right now is impressions. If you want to look at performance for only one campaign at a time, you can do so by selecting campaigns on the left. You can also change the metric you're looking at by using the drop-down menu in the center, highlighted here in red. As mentioned before, the metrics you can look at are impressions, clicks, CTR and average position. In the Google Store account, we have a number of categories, such as apparel, business and industrial, and family and community. Let's say I'm most interested in apparel. We can click on this category to reveal a subcategory, clothing. You can then use the breadcrumbs at the top of the screen to navigate back to see all categories. Here's another look at the Google Store. This time we're looking at another metric, CTR. We got here using the drop-down menu at the top of the screen. Even though the Google Store was leader in impressions, the store is not necessarily a leader in CTR. Changing which metric you look at in Analyze Competition can give you a different perspective on your performance and help you identify areas for improvement. Now that we know how to navigate Analyze Competition, let's look at how to measure performance. There are a few things to look at here. First, there's the Competitive Range column, which tells us generally where we're performing compared to all advertisers. Performance is split into five segments of performance, which can range in size. As we move toward the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see bar graphs which represent your performance as compared to the average of advertisers in your range. For example, in the apparel category, my CTR is 0.3%, while the average advertiser in my range has a 0.4% CTR. For more information on advertisers in your range, hover over the performance bar. When you do this, a box will pop up with more information. In addition to the average CTR which we saw in the bar graph, we can now also see the percentages for the range we're performing in. 
we'll also see the median performance and the top and bottom performers. We make sure the data is anonymous to protect advertiser privacy. That's why when you look at your range of performance, the number you're benchmarked against is an average of all advertisers in that range. While we showed you data at the top level category level, all this data is available at the subcategory level too. So that about wraps it up for the basic functionality of the Analyze Competition feature. By now, you're probably wondering where we get these categories from. Categories represent search terms that match an advertiser's keywords, any match type. Search terms are broken down into approximately 50 top-level categories and approximately 7,000 categories in total, including subcategories. If you happen to see uncategorized in your account, this means that we do not have enough data to categorize your keywords. So we've shown you the basic functionality of Analyze Competition. You may be wondering how you can use competitive information. One, you can understand whether your performance is in the normal range for advertisers like you. Two, you can compare your performance for different metrics within a given category to get ideas on where you can optimise. Just because you're leading in one metric doesn't mean there's no room for improvement. 3. And you can easily identify underperforming campaigns and find custom ideas for improving them. Once you've evaluated your performance, you can click on the Explore Ideas button to go back to the Ideas section of the Opportunities tab. We've had a number of advertisers who've had success with the Opportunities tab and wanted to share their stories with other advertisers. Resortsandlodges.com, a product of VEMglobal.com, has carved out a new niche in the travel industry. It's a comprehensive online travel guide that connects travellers to the world of resort and lodge vacations through content, photo and videos, plus expert reviews and articles. Resortsandlodges.com was hoping to get better insight into their user base and refine their website accordingly. To achieve this goal, Resortsandlodges.com heads to the Opportunities tab to check out new keywords. Based on the keyword ideas in the tab, they can notice major themes coming through. They can decide to add keywords to existing ad groups, or if there's a theme that arises that's not already covered by their ad groups, they can create new ad groups or even new sections of their site to match user searches. Ryan Bailey, the president and co-founder of the site, says the Opportunities tab provides high-quality keywords and a lot of ideas we wouldn't have thought of, which is the whole point. Fitness Singles is an online dating website with a focus on fitness and an online presence in the US, UK, Ireland, Australia and New Zealand. Their goal with AdWords was to extend their ads' reach and to increase new member sign-ups, which for them means the creation of an online profile. Christopher Mattioli, founder and CEO of Fitness Singles, uses the Opportunities tab to find new keyword ideas and save time while finding these new keywords. He says the Opportunities tab helps me identify previously unidentified keywords. Google can often find new keywords that are relevant to our ads and that don't currently exist in our account. When Chris started looking at keywords in the tab, he noticed that the keywords in the tab were more relevant for his ad groups that were more tightly grouped around a theme. This insight helped Chris rework his ad groups and now his Opportunities tab keywords are even better than before.